Hello, dear students, cuarto A and cuarto B, how are you? I think that you're okay. Yes or no? Perfect. So, today we are going to start unit number three, the new unit of the semester, okay? For this, I need you please stay there with your copybook, English copybook, your books and your pencil case. Con tu cuaderno de inglés, tus libros de Tiger Time 4 y tu estuche. Okay, so let's start. Pay attention to the following. Here we go. Unit 3. The title or the name of the unit is Around the Town. Ah, oh, look at this photo. What do you think the unit is going to be about? ¿De qué crees que se va a tratar la unidad? Mm? Let's see. Please, uh, I need you open your English copybook and write down a very, very big and nice title that says Unit 3 Around the Town and the objective that is to recognize vocabulary related to a town. Te voy a pedir entonces ahora que abras tu cuaderno de inglés y escribas un gran título que diga Unidad 3, Unit 3, Around the Town, y el objetivo de hoy que es to recognize vocabulary related to a town. Ok, so, mientras haces esta actividad, pon pausa en el video y cuando estés ready, continúa viéndolo. Ok, let's continue. Now pay attention, we are going to watch a short video about the, or related to unit, okay? Let's look at the video, here we go. Little Smart Planet presents The City, My City. This is our city. Come have a look. This is the school. School! This is the park. Park! This is the police station. Police station! This is the supermarket. Supermarket. This is the bakery. Bakery. This is the museum. Museum. This is the theater. Theater. This is the swimming pool. Swimming pool. This is the city hall. City hall. This is the fire station. Fire station. This is the hospital. Hospital. This is a bus stop. Bus stop. Okay, we already watched this video, okay? Did you like it? Yes? Yes, it was short, it was not long. Okay, so now, do you have any idea? ¿Tienes alguna idea of what is going to be about our unit number three? ¿De qué se va a tratar la unidad tres? ¿Mm? De diferentes clues, diferentes pistas. Yes, viste es una, un GIF, una imagen con movimiento. <coughs> y luego we watch a video. So what do you think is going to be the unit? about exactly about places in the city now pay attention but the name of our unit is not city pay attention the title of the unit el título de nuestra unidad tenía una palabra muy particular which is town town dear students is a synonym un sinónimo for city 
Okay, is another way of calling a place where we live. Es otra forma de llamar al lugar donde nosotros vivimos. Town or city are the same. Okay, so please, I need you. Open your English copybook again. Necesito que nuevamente eh, abras tu cuaderno de inglés y debajo del título y objetivo que escribiste anteriormente, escribas este pequeña, estas pequeñas dos palabras sinónimos, que son town equals city. Ok, y ahí le puedes poner mucho color y como tú quieras, que te quede lindo para seguir con nuestra actividad. Cuando ya estés ready, puedes continuar con el video. Ok, let's move on. Sigamos. Open your copybook to draw, color, and write. Yes. Va, ¿Estamos listos para seguir o no? Yes. Very good. So, I know that all of you like, or most of you like, drawing, coloring, and writing. Yo sé que a muchos de ustedes o su mayoría le encanta dibujar, colorear y o escribir. Así que te voy a pedir nuevamente que hagamos lo siguiente. Let's see. In the video, en el video que acabas de ver, we uh, watch some places around the town. For example, fire station, que es la estación de bomberos, or city hall, que es la municipalidad, or bus stop, que era la, la parada de, de buses, ¿cierto? Como el paradero, de, de, que lo llamamos nosotros en Chile. So, let's continue. In your copybook, please write down this title. Places in towns and cities. Vas a escribir este título en tu cuaderno because we are going to draw and color the following. We are going to draw and color some places around the town. Vamos a colorear y dibujar algunos lugares de la ciudad. For example, hospital, train station, cafe, police station, museum, Let's see. supermarket, news agents, bus stop, Cinema and shops. Let's see. Can you repeat after me each one of these places? ¿Puedes repetirlo después de mí? Cada uno de estos lugares. Let's see. Hospital. Now you. Very good. Train station. Now you. Cafe. Now you. Police station. Now you. Museum, now you. Supermarket, now you. News agents, now you. Bus stop, now you. Cinema, but now you. Shops, now you. Excellent job, very good pronunciation. Let's see, in Spanish, We have very similar words to these places. En el español nosotros tenemos algunas palabras muy parecidas a estos lugares. Veamos. Hospital in Spanish is hospital. Train station in Spanish es estación de ferrocarriles. Café in Spanish is cafetería. Police station in Spanish es estación de policías. Museum in Spanish is museo. Supermarket in Spanish is supermercado. This is new, maybe. Algunos de ustedes quizás no conocían esta. News agents. News agents in Spanish, we call it kiosco. Es lo que nosotros tenemos, los famosos kioscos en Chile. Este es un news agents, donde encuentras diarios, revistas, golosinas, diferentes cosas. Then we have bus stop, which is paradero in, in Spanish, or in Chile, in fact. Then we have cinema, which is cine, and shops uh, in Spanish are the tiendas. For example, pizza, pet shop, books, fast food, game, and this is a grocery store. Tenemos la pizzería, una tienda de mascotas, una librería, donde venden libros, ¿no es cierto? Um, fast food, que es una tienda de comida rápida, por ejemplo, donde venden sushi or hand rolls or french fries, etc., Games, ah, yo sé que a muchos de ustedes les va a gustar estos shops, que son los games shops, son las tiendas de juegos. Y esta. Y por último, el grocery store, que es el almacén que tenemos todos cerca de nuestras houses. Ok, dear students, cuarto A and cuarto B. Now, please, I invite you to draw, 
color and write the names of these 10 places around the town. ¿Ya? Um, te invito a que dibujes, colorees y escribas los nombres correspondientes a estos 10 lugares de una ciudad. Que te queden very, very beautiful. Cuando estés ready, continúas viendo el video. Ok, dear students, now you're ready, let's move on. Let's see. As you know, we are living a very sad issue around the world. Estamos viendo un, un problema mundial muy triste, which is a pandemic, yes? So, unfortunately, many of you at home, you are in lockdown. ¿Qué quiere decir lockdown? Que están encerrados because of the quarantine. So, today I invite you to use your imagination, okay? Vamos a usar nuestra imaginación all together and let's go to the town in Concepción. ¿Te invito a la ciudad de Concepción al centro? Do you want to go? But imaginary. So we don't need now a mask or something because we are going to travel, vamos a viajar, with our imagination. Okay? Let's see. The main street um, in Concepción town, en la ciudad de Concepción, la, la calle principal is O'Higgins Street or O'Higgins Avenue. This is in front of the main square, en frente a la Plaza de Armas. So let's go there. Let's see. Here we are in um, Aníbal Pinto Street with O'Higgins Street. So let's go to this place. Here we go. Oh, where are we? Here we are in Copolicana Street. And let's move on to the other side. Here we have some examples of shops. This is a shop, uh, esta es una tienda, a kind of shop, una, un tipo de tienda que se dedica a vender insumos para la gente que necesita audífonos, ¿ya? Yeah? Uh, next to we have Western Union, is another shop, es otra tienda en donde se realizan um, envíos de dinero, ¿ya? Yeah? Let's move on, let's walk. Oh, I love this store. It's a chocolate store, Varsovian. Oh, yo sé que a muchos de ustedes igual les gusta. This is a shoes store. And look at this. What's this? This is a bank. Yes. And can we cross? Podemos cruzar. Let's see. Ah, oh, but here, here we have a bookstore. Tenemos una tienda, una, una tienda de libros y um, eh, otro tipo de supplies for school, otro tipo de eh, insumos para el colegio como lápices, cartulinas, etc. Let's cross. Let's cross to the other street. Ah, what's this? This is a drugstore or a pharmacy. Yes. Let's move on. What else? Hello, Mr. Policeman. Here we have the policeman, as you can see. Uh, this is the main square, es la palaza de armas, yes. Uh, let's move on here. Here we have got a cafe, Cafe Carrasco. This is a cafe. And this is one of my favorite shops in the world because they sell um, different sweets and candies. Esta es una de mis tiendas favoritas en el mundo porque venden muchos dulces <laughs> yummy, yummy. And here we have, let's see, theater. Yes, this is a theater, el Teatro Universidad de Concepción. Many of you must know it, uh, this place. Here we have, also here we have got land. This is another type of shop, yes, where you can buy, um, Flight tickets to uh, travel. And here we have got another bank. And more banks. Yes. As you can see, this is our town in Concepcion. Okay. So, stop uh, traveling in our town. Dejemos de pasear por nuestra ciudad. Now, oh, but pay attention. Here we have a news agent. Oh no, to another place. No, no. Here. There. Can you see the news agents? Let's see. Uh, 
Various a news agents. Estos son los típicos news agents o kioscos en Chile, we call it. Um, donde encontramos ciertos diferentes tipos de dulces, candies, o magazines, revistas, o newspapers, periódicos. So, now, we finish our trip to the town of Concepción. Ya acabamos nuestro paseo al centro de Concepción. Let's continue with the work. So, please, dear students, I need you go to your student's book on page number 21. Okay? Here we have, as you can see, the title of the unit, which is num uh, unit number three around the town. And here we are going to learn different uh, places about the town or cities. These are the places that we already drew and colored in our English copybooks, son los lugares que ya dibujamos, ¿no es cierto? Y coloreamos en nuestro <coughs> cuaderno de inglés. For example, hospital, train station, cafe, police station, museum, supermarket, news agents, bus stop, cinema, and shops. Okay? So, <coughs> I need you please now go to your activity book on page 21, página 21 de tu libro, activity book. Here we have one, two, three activities, short activities, so don't worry. Son actividades súper cortas, así que no te preocupes, ¿ya? Remember, recuerda bien estudiante del cuarto A y cuarto B, que estas actividades las tienes que tener ready, terminadas, para la, se eh, para la sesión meet del próximo jueves, ¿ya? Tú, estás, eh, tú recibiste eh, este video hoy, jueves 3 de septiembre. Este, estas tareas las vamos a revisar en Meet el jueves 10 de septiembre. Cuarto A with Miss Jessica, cuarto B with me. So, let's explain the activities. Activity number one, vocabulary. Uh, look and write. Here we have a little photo of our town with 10 different places around the town. For example... And each, uh, and each place has got a number. For example, this is number one. What's this? This is a news agent. And besides of the number, además del número, o de los dibujos que tú puedes ver en la, en la fotografía, eh, el libro te da otra club, otra pista, que es la primera letra del place around the town, del lugar en la ciudad. For example, number one, the letter is N, And here we have number one. Ah, this is the news agents. So that's why the example says news agents. And you have to do the same with the others. Nine. Okay? Activity number two. Look. Write the first letter and find the sentence. Esta actividad me gusta mucho porque cuando la hacíamos en el colegio, uy, mucho les gustaba hacer porque aquí ocupamos todo lo que hemos aprendido hasta cuarto A y cuarto B. Este es un recycle, es un reciclaje de conocimiento. Here you have to write the first letter, la primera letra, of each one of these objects. For example, this first object, what is this? ¿Qué es este primer objeto? This is a tree. It's an árbol in español. Árbol in English is called tree. So, my first letter is going to be a T, okay? What about this? Can I help you with another, another one more example? Te ayudo con uno más? Yeah, let's do it. What is this? What's this place? Is a school? No, no, no. This is a house. So what's the first letter? ¿Cuál es la primera letra? The first letter of house. The first letter is H. And that's why the letter is H. And you have to continue with the others. This is number eight, ruler, egg, etc. Okay? I cannot do it all the activity by you. No puedo hacer toda la actividad por ti. No seas pilla o pillo. And the last activity, number three. Look and write. Here we have to mention the places this girl has got in her town. Los lugares de, eh, que esta niña tiene en su ciudad. Para eso ella te está indicando with a tick 
the places she has got and across with the places uh, she hasn't got, okay? For example, number one, this is a cafe. And she says, yes, that in her town, there is a cafe. So the affirmative sentence, pay attention, starts with, there is a, can you see it? Oh, let me change the color. There is a, there is a means I un. In this case, there is a cafe in our town. And she finishes with in our town. ¿Te diste cuenta? There's a cafe in our town. What about number two? In number two, she says that uh, no, it's a negative sentence. In this case, we cannot start, we cannot start with there is. No podemos comenzar con there is. In this case, we start with there isn't a. There isn't a is no hay un. There is a, like in number one, significa hay un. In number two, there isn't a means no hay un. Then you have to include the name uh, of the place. What's this? Maybe it's a school, hospital, bus stop. And you finish with in our town, okay? So you all, you just have to change the place around the town. Solo vas a tener que cambiar el lugar de la ciudad. En este caso, café, como sale en el ejemplo, okay? Okay, dear students, recuerden que estas actividades las revisaremos el jueves 10 de septiembre en la sesión Meet en vivo. Cuarto A con mi Jessica, cuarto B conmigo. Eh, la idea, chicas y chicos, es que ustedes tengan estas actividades ready. No llegar a la sesión del jueves a hacer estas actividades para aprovechar el tiempo de aclarar dudas y de realizar otras actividades o juegos más eh, entretenidos en la clase. Ok, les dejo un beso y un abrazo enorme. Take care, se cuidan and see you next time. Bye, bye.